What's going on, my nail friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Rosie, and this is Mary Rosie Dips. We are going to be doing a winter manicure with some Ritzy Dips new releases that came out yesterday. Snow Pearl is this white color right here, literally looks like snow. And Silver Bells is this glittery, pretty, fine silver color right here. So, all I'm going to do is regular dip on my nails and then we'll do a little design later on so as usual i have jelly tips with some builder gel on my natural nails that i did actually cut down all the way not that long ago so these are just jelly tips with one little thin layer of a really light white color uh, builder gel and that first snow color all I'm going to do is dip on three nails twice and I've been getting into the habit of doing the solid color fully and then moving on to the glitter to lessen any kind of contamination. So that's what you'll see me do here and then we'll go in with the glitter, encapsulate with glass, all that good stuff. So you'll see me doing that and sometimes cleaning up with my cuticle tool and that's that so i'll let you watch for a little bit and um then i'll be back Once I went in with two layers of the white, then we're going to go in with silver bells on the pinky and the thumb as solid colors. And um, I think when I had done the thumb, I decided I wanted to do an ombre on my ring finger. If I would have thought about that before, I would have done that as the second layer instead of doing two full layers of the white on my ring finger I don't particularly like doing more than two layers of color and one layer of clear but that one ended up with technically three layers of color and one layer of clear by the time it's all said and done it didn't particularly come out any thicker just because it was a fine shimmer glitter and um, I applied nice thin coats but it could have turned out a lot thicker and then I would have just taken the whole nail off and restarted with that nail I don't really like my nails to be thick so here I go into the thumb and it's just basic application where I'm going in and applying it to the entire nail and I do like to put my glitter into a cupcake liner um, especially these finer glitters I feel like you can get a better coverage of it if you have it in a cupcake liner especially on like a bigger nail so i was able to go in with the glitter 
in both of these full nails with just one layer. And I think I typically get that just because I went in with a, uh, in a cupcake liner. A lot of times if you are dipping right into a jar, even with the finer glitters, they tend to push up off of the tip of the nail so you can get uh, more clear dip powder on the tip or end of the nail on the free edge there instead of actually picking up the glitters. So laying in a cupcake liner works just the same as with chunky glitters where you get better coverage. So I did end up leaving those two nails with just one layer of the glitter because I think they look perfectly fine. If you want to, of course, you're more than welcome to do a second layer. All I did was go in with clear um, glass over the top of that. Um, now you'll see me encapsulating the, I lied, I'm not encapsulating anything. This is where I decided to go in and do the ombre on the tip of this nail. And like I said, if I had thought about it earlier, I would have done one full layer of the white and then ombre with the glitter and the white and then just encapsulated in clear. So right now I'm taking my um, ombre brush from Ritzy Dips. If you don't have one of these, you can just use a small eyeshadow makeup brush. It's what I used for years and I continue to use still all the time. They work just fine. Um, and then I go on and pour over the clear dip powder over a cupcake liner as well because now when I tap off that excess it will contaminate that bit of glass that was on in the cupcake liner so that ends up being in my contaminated jar and so if you don't already have it I highly recommend having a jar of your clear dip powder for solid colors and a jar for glitter colors because you don't want to get them intermixed and accidentally contaminated. The last thing that I want is this white nail to have glitter in it. I mean, I won't die if I get glitter in it, but that's not the look that I'm going for. So I have a jar for clear dip powder and a jar for glitters, and that way my stuff stays separate. So all I'm doing is encapsulating all the nails, and I start off with the solid ones, dip it into the... Um, clean dip powder that is glass and then I did the middle nail and now I'm doing this one and I'll finish off with the other two nails by pouring it over so that I don't get any glitter into that jar so I'll let you guys watch Once everything is nice and dry, I do take a stiff brush and remove all that excess clear dip powder so we get a nice smooth surface. Then you want to apply two to three layers of activator to all of the nails. Make sure it gets all the way to the first layer that you have applied. And then once that's dry, you go ahead and buff and file and shape all your nails, which I will be doing off camera and I'll come back in a minute. And 
here we are buff file and shaped i am going to do activator one more time just to get a final look at all of the nails to make sure they are buffed appropriately and i don't have any little ridges or anything like that i personally like to do this but at this point um you can apply your activator and then go ahead and do your dip coat right over this I am going to be doing some gel art and draw some snowflakes. So I'm going to be using West Coast Stips, the black gel liner. Um, it does come in a kit and I will have the link down below. So all I'm doing is putting some here on my nail art palette. And you really don't need very much because I'm doing these snowflakes using some dots and a dotting tool. So I take... Again, the gel liner, put it on a palette, find the different dotting tools that you're going to be using. I am using this super fine liner brush from the Painted Desert. It is a 9mm, extremely fine little brush. It's one of my favorite brushes if I'm trying to do a fine line. And then some Ritzy Dips dotting tools. There's the set that comes with different sizes, so just pick the size that you want to use for whatever design you're using. I'm making a snowflake, and I've been practicing more on making snowflakes. Uh, this year, especially um, actually drawing them. I'm pretty good at stamping, um, but drawing, I'm not the greatest. Like, I can do dots, <laughs> but uh, making things out of dots, eh, not so much. So this was uh, like another practice for me. I really do enjoy doing nail art. And like I said, I like the easy stuff. I didn't uh, uh, start doing my own nails so that I could make things harder for myself. So... Literally, you make the dots, and then all I did was, or I should say, you put the dots on the nail in whatever shape it is you're going to be working on. Technically, I didn't have to put all the dots at the same time. I could have just done one big X in dots, and then I'm just touching the amount of gel on my palette so that I could have my brush easily slide over from dot to dot. But the amount that is on the dot is actually what's dragging onto the next dot to make the line for you so it is pretty easy once you have dots um I, I think a week ago i made a snowflake and did not use the dots and it was a lot harder than i thought it was going to be um and this one was much easier than i thought it was going to be so biggest thing i can recommend is a dotting tool of course and then a very very fine brush the fine brush is really what um did all this for me right here so then i cured it for 30 seconds and i'm going into the other nail and doing the exact same thing just on a little bit of a different area so i will let you watch It was even easier the second time around. They came out so cute. So I did cure that for 30 seconds in my UV LED lamp. And then I just decided to go in and add these little dots as a final touch. Um, and I will chrome those as well. So dots are cured. Then we're taking the Ritzy Dips Silver Chroming Pen. And all I'm doing is tapping it or dabbing it, I guess, on to the snowflakes, which are gel polish which is tacky so when you chrome you want to chrome on something that's mildly tacky if you wanted to you could have drawn the snowflakes in no wipe a gel top coat and cured it for 10 or 15 seconds and then um, done the same exact thing i decided to do it with a black gel liner so that i could see 
the image better and make sure that my snowflake actually looked good before I chromed over it. So you saw me putting it back into the cover. That's because the pins have the actual chrome inside the cap. Then you take a light fluffy brush and remove any excess. I did finish curing for another 30 seconds just to make sure everything was nice and intact. And then I am doing Ritzy Dips gel top coat over all of the nails. If you want your design to last, you wanna do gel base, cure that for 30 seconds and cap your free edges and then do gel top coat, cap for your free edges and cure for 30 seconds. I do my nails so frequently um, and I do represent multiple brands so I do not cap my edges and I frequently finish off with just gel top coat. But I do wanna warn you that your nails will chip and peel the top coat as far as that part will come off if you don't have a gel base to it so do as i say not as i do once you have put gel on all of your nails make sure you cure for 30 to 60 seconds depending on your lip and then your mani is done apply your favorite cuticle oil and this is what our mani looks like thank you all so much for watching i do appreciate you if you liked what you saw make sure to hit subscribe we'll see you guys next time bye